Oh, thank God you're here. Frank is out of control. Oh, hey, Mike. You eat a bunch of energy bars? So, look at this. Look at what he did to my press. He's supposed to be helping me here with this. And I asked Frank to press some books, and I don't know what to expect in here and see. What? Oh my God! What the? All right, everybody, we're back. It's time again for your favorite thing. What do we have this time, Mike? This is our giant-sized Con Edition unboxing video. So uh, in this installment, uh, I think we're at 347 shows. Yes. This is actually a standard tier submission. So we have our usual boards here. Um, standard tier is any That's book. That's a bad name. Why is that? Oh yeah, exactly. There's nothing little standard about. We can this. do a little. We can do a whole, except for the modern <laughs> yeah, tier. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the tiers are a little bit misleading. They have the value, the economy, the standard, the express, the walkthrough. Uh, a little bit misleading, but for this one, uh, we'll just go with the word standard. It's any book that is four hundred to a thousand dollar value. With some little, you know, bending rules a little bit here and there, and um, so typically these are, you know tend to be a little bit higher grade, not always. Sometimes you get some older books in here. That it's just really valued more than anything. Exactly. They have a high enough value that sometimes some of these early Marvels mid-grade are, are great candidates for this. A um, little bit of backstory on this particular issue or this order is this was an order I prepped to get funds for Heroes Con, which you all know we just came back from Heroes Con. Um, I had everything timed. I got the books prepared. I took into account shipping and time to sell the books, which we usually sell these books that we have graded. That's why we haven't graded in the first place. And as it happened, the turnaround time slowed down and slowed down. Even though this is a standard tier, which is typically 15 days, um, it took, I think, about 18 days. Literally, this order arrived at my front doorstep when I was boarding the plane. So I wasn't able to get any of these books sold or to use the funds. So this is kind of the, the convention funding episode of a CGC. I unboxing. even offered my Mission Impossible method, but he said, don't do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to be present to at least get the books online or at least make some sales. So um, hopefully this will make a dent in my bill at from Heroes Con since I, I did buy a few books at Heroes Con. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Suitcase full. Yeah, truckload full. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get started here. Right. Alphabetically, uh, we're going through my boxes and boxes of CGC books. And a lot of these books uh, I've had for a year or two. I'm not a person that rushes out to sell these. I tend to keep these around for some time. And then after I'm done enjoying them, um, I prep them to sell. So first one. First one is... The first appearance of the Scorpion, although it's not the first appearance of the character, because I think he's in this. I think Nick did a video on that a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's actually in the character himself before he, he puts on the Scorpion suit. So this is Spider-Man number 20. So this one I, I call the 6.5. There's some spine wear and uh, a little bit of creasing. This so. is like right where I like to collect Silver Age. Very nice. Six to seven. Yeah, they're, they're just yeah. perfect price and they still look awesome. Oh my God! Okay, we're off to a good start. Crushing. Look at that closely. Would you call that a? Would you call that an eight oh? Um, I I would. Like, I don't. There's it, nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's it, just it's minor. You got a little bit of rubbing in that yeah, corner. Yeah. Uh, about five, very minor spine ticks. Well, like I said, I was up late prepping these books. All I was five under pages. the gun. Really, the the major flaw is that corner. Yeah, I'll take it. That's That's awesome. Amazing. That's a good way to start. Got to give it that that CGC oh no look where everyone kind of looks at the book and yes. they'll, they'll kind of scratch the case a little bit like they're going to rub that little defect yeah. out. And I don't know what happened. I, they <laughs> they must have been drunk. I think if they look at it at an angle enough that the yeah. brain will just go oh and change. Yeah, we'll stare at this for twenty minutes while you guys watch us scratch our heads over yes. why the grade was wrong. Yes, and then we'll, okay. rant, then we'll scream at the gods. <laughs> I got Shake screwed. Your fist. <laughs> give me my caps, you monkeys! Give yeah. me my caps. <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, this was an interesting book. So, yeah. what do you know about this one? Spider-Man Thirty-One. It's the first appearance of Norman Osborn, or Normie Osborn. Yes. Or Harry. Sorry, not Harry. not Norman. Harry Osborn, and uh, I think it's the first cameo of Gwen. Yes. And um, I think they call it out on here. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. You first appearance of Gwen Stacy. They actually right. call it. Okay, first appearance of Gwen. Yeah. So I got this out of a collection of the New York City about a year ago. And the seller had this listed as like near mint. Um, I knew it wasn't, but I had got a great price on it. Got some other books from this guy. 
And when it came, it had like little like splotches on the cover, almost like oh, yeah. almost like water spots. Um, enough that it affected the gloss, so it didn't have that nice shiny look. It was more of a matte finish, and there was dozens of them. Um, I used a technique that Matt Nelson uses and managed to kind of get those out, um, restore some of that luster. But I was conservative in the grade in this book. I thought it was an 8-0, um, yeah. just because it has some like, kind of like pre-water spotting on it. But it does look beautiful um, in your hand. I think so. It's, I think it's a 7-5. You think it's a 7-5? I do. Oh, fuck it. oh my god! I love when I'm totally wrong. How great is that? Oh, oh my okay. God. Let's cut and start that shot again. Something bad. Wow. This is bad I guess, juju. I guess, something bad's gonna happen. I guess to you. I did enough a good job on that that I, I dinged it myself. You're gonna because wake up with kidney thought. stones tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, bad juju. Uh, yeah, so, you know, one of the things, too, is you stare at these books long enough as you're prepping well, them, and you kind of get this, you know... What's up with those? Yeah, those are little non-color breaking stress marks. Yeah. You get this thousand-yard stare sometimes. You look at these books long enough, and you just kind of convince yourself that the I grade is a certain it's, grade. It's, it's the Overstreet thing. Yeah. Yep. I, I know that we both probably grade harder or harsher than they do. It's right back here. Okay, so... Get back to more realistic. King pin. More realistic. This one definitely is not a nine two. Um, no. I think it's a five five. It's got the usual overhang problem. Well, a common issue, a common issue with this particular number uh, fifty Spider Man is that the top, the overhang, tends to get worn. I think worn. it's better. Okay, I think it's a five five. I love when you're right and I'm wrong. Oh At least in this in my favor. I love when I'm super wrong. Super wrong. So, so, sometimes people watch us like, you guys are learning to learn to grade better. It's like, yeah. You, well, you go through this many books sometimes. Me. So, you know, the philosophy when submitting books is not the same as is if we're truly grading. Correct. I don't want we don't to. Get, like, we don't get out a, a, a grading sheet. Like, yeah. if, if I was going to grade something. Uh, to that level, yeah, you would mark off everything, yeah. and then you just do the math on it. It's easy. Yeah, I want to be conservative because it's nothing's worse than overgrading Correct. books. And when you get them back, and you've seen these videos before, people say worst CGC unboxing ever. <laughs> yeah, you wind up spending a lot of money, and you learn fast. So after a couple of grading mistakes, you learn to be conservative when you do the submissions. Now, boy, this this is really dark color. Nice yeah, color that stripe. one was a cracked. That was a case. That was a cracked case. It was a CGC six five. Um, Especially up here. It was an old case. I don't know if it really improved that much. I would not be surprised if it was still a 6.5, but it was I, an old old case. So I, I think it's at least a 7.0. Oh, oh, 6 -0. You know what? I think those two books were backwards. Yeah, they probably got switched. Yeah, so that was backwards. So that 6.0 was actually the 5.5. Five. I tell you what, it's got white pages. They both do, actually. So that other one, that was the 6.5. So yeah, so basically the 6.5 didn't change. This is a classic change. case, so if, you're, if this is for you... Buy the book, not the grade, because I would yeah. take this 6.0 over this 6.5 any day. Yeah. If so it was for my collection, you know? Yep. It's so the, cleaner. The, the back's six, cleaner. Yeah, the 6.5 didn't change, and, and the 5.5 was actually a little bit better than 6.0. I want to see... Stack I, of ASMs there. I want to say I feel relieved that uh, at least we're not to use crazy, crazy high grades, but I wouldn't mind seeing some crazy high grades again. Right about now. <laughs> right about now. Spider-Man 300. Now, at the con... I don't think I saw a single 9.8. You trying to jinx me here? I don't know. I'm <laughs> saying this is the one I'm holding in my hand. Um, I got this in trade uh, about six months ago. Very nice. It had a couple of very small, non-color breaking stress marks. You can see in the back. The problem with this book is the back cover is black, black. And usually from the front with the red and the black, you can't see. But if you look at the back cover, you can see some very slight non-color breaking stress marks. Uh, and that'll do you in. They're really little. Yeah, so... If you look at my note there, I scribbled it out. I thought it was a 9.6. I'm like, mm, I want to I wanna be conservative. Again, you know, when you're paying money for these books to be graded, it pays to not be I, too I think aggressive. It's, I think it's at least a 9.4. So I thought a 9.4, yep. borderline 9.6, though. Yep. Beautiful There's just copy. a couple uh, little dings on the mm -hmm. back, but that's it. Yeah. Survey says... <laughs> oh! <laughs> wrong again. See, I jinxed it. Wow. I didn't see any 9.8s at the show. 
I actually stole that from Patrick's stash of nine <laughs> eights. And it's yeah, I, have, I haven't liquidated wow. them all yet. That's... I've I've never had enough. I've only had a couple copies. I know. You know. Uh, you know the, the other thing that's very common in this book for you out there that are looking at this edge is always has frays in it. Yeah, the, it the blades they had. Always that, has... My personal copy is yeah. like that. It's jagged. Yeah, they always have like these little frays sticking out. So it's really yep. rare when you see one that wow. sharp. And white pages. Oh, beautiful book. Oh my God. That's I did a not mighty, expect mighty that to be stack in going you got here. It's a mighty stack of comics. Uh, the old Avengers number four. So, one of my favorite books. So I was telling Patrick about this earlier. I bought this. This was a rescue mission. Yeah, I bought this a while ago. I pulled a, a, a landfill Kzar one technique on this book. Um, the guy sold it to me. And he said it's poor condition, which I didn't agree totally. It was still attached to the cover, um, barely. So technically, it's about a one zero, but it was a loose pile of papers. Did a but little it's, bit it's of complete. A little bit of rejuvenation, straightened things out, made it look it's, a little it's more. It's actually a nice color. There's no writing. There's no major chunks missing. You got yeah. a little bit on the upper corner, a little bit on the bottom corner, yeah. but it's still got great color, and it's not that gross, dingy yellow that a yeah. lot of them are. Yeah, it, it was a hideous book when I got it. Yeah, you know, and so I'm like, you know what? It, it was a fun project, so I said I'll take the challenge. He called it a poor a point five. I'm thinking it's closer to a two five right now. I think right you're now. gonna get a two five all day on it's this. Two five. Yes. Two five. Nice. What page quality? Off white. white? Oh, decent. Yeah, it's I mean, decent. you could tell through the cover. A little bit of Marvel chipping, but not bad. Very good. I mean, for what this started off, this looked like uh, after Dick Clark's Rock and Eve uh, confetti <laughs> on the ground when you got it. So. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty ugly. It was pretty ugly. Ah, this is Patrick's favorite. I do like this book. This you is Avengers number one. eight, first appearance of Kang. It might be for sale. Yeah. We should do a live sale. Yes. <laughs> Do I hear a dollar? How about three? Really nice. Start, start, start bidding below for this before we reveal the grade. Really dark color. I will say it's a CBCS 65 mm -hmm. um, and it had a small little chip on the upper corner of the spy. Yeah, you have a, is that a watermark in the corner? That's just some like little discoloration. Yeah. So you have a little bit of rubbing up in that corner. 65 CBCS. I saw potential for better. You know, I called it. Well, I didn't call it anything, but I, I think it's going to be at least. A seven zero. I think it's a seven zero. I agree. Or maybe potentially a seven five. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm paying the six five price. <laughs> I changed my mind. The price just added a couple god, more zeros nice on book. the end. Wow, that's amazing. I love being wrong. That's amazing. <laughs> huh? What do you know? Oh, a DC book. Yep. What's going well, what's on this here? What's doing in here? Yeah, what's that filth doing DC in here? Book. Actually, this is a really nice book. So this was a kind of a love-hate thing. I, I bought a small collection of DC books from a guy to Baltimore last year. And in my urgency to purchase, and I'm sure some of you guys have done this before, I took a closer look and they weren't quite as nice. I noticed, yeah. noticed little flaws here and there. One of the books I bought actually had a subscription crease on it. Chip there. Yeah. Color breaking about a quarter inch in the bottom. So yeah, I paid a fair probably. price, but in hindsight, I was very close. And if not waiting for a year, I might have might have been a little under you know what i should have paid uh nice looking copy though six five uh, seven oh ish i think i called it a seven yeah i called it a seven oh yep very tough to find this book in high grade I think anthony must love this book right probably so a seven is what i called it and a seven five. nice yes yes nice very nice very nice a little conservative i'll take that yep you're gonna be wrong it's better to be wrong this way <laughs> well that's the whole philosophy I mean, we, of these submissions yeah yeah you know, it's not not to be way undergraded. It's just to be to the point where you're not paying the fees for the wrong exactly. two books or submitting a book that you really aren't going to make yeah. any money on. Yeah. So I I would, would note at this tier, these books are sixty five dollars each. So yeah. if you make a mistake in the wrong direction, you lost. Batman one eighty one. It's got go go checks. First appearance of Poison Ivy. This book has a lot going for it. The only thing that I don't like about this cover is the teeth. Yeah. What's up with they their always, teeth? They always draw, you always draw why, teeth that Why way. do they draw their teeth like that? What is going on? Always it looks like a kid at Car Halloween. Carmine Infantino did the cover on this, yeah. and he just, I don't know, it was his style. This was a CGC, it was an ugly old CGC 6.5. Really clean, look how clean that back got. It was not like that. Yeah. So nice. That takes a lot of slow cleaning. Yeah, so it was a 5.5 five before. I think it went up probably to a 6.5. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, let's Saturday. see what we have. It says... Oh my hey, god, even better. Yes. Yikes. Teeth and all. Batman for the win. I go to the dentist and say, hey, could you hook me up with some Carmen Infantino? I want to have plates? some. <laughs> I want my teeth look like white kernels of corn. Better, better, <laughs> better to have Carmine. Actually, the worst teeth, the person that draws the worst teeth is, is Frank Robbins. 
Yeah. Without a doubt. It's funny, a lot of these books are also back here raw. So, so let me ask you this. Would you want to have a Carmine Infantino implant for your teeth mm -hmm. or a Jack Kirby thumb transplant e. with those big, clunky, boxy meat hooks? Well, they're like big toes for thumbs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you the guys toe, comment the, below. The, Which would you the prefer? The toe thumbs. You can yeah. put those in your pocket. You can't hide your... And sometimes, if you get fortunate enough, you have two left thumbs like Kirby was known to draw from time to nice. time. Nice. Okay. Um, a beautiful copy of this book. It really is super clean. This is like the one that I submitted, I think, right? Uh, quite possibly. Yeah. But... This is nicer. But when I looked, took a closer look at this book, I thought it was much nicer. You know, we're talking about a 9-0 condition. Um, it's not. I think there is... Oh, yeah, right there. That's yeah. it. Uh, the bottom staple on the back has a good, probably a quarter inch tear, maybe. Very small. But it's a really nice, clean book. Really sharp corners. Yeah. Again, you got the rubbing in the upper, upper corner above the floating heads. Um, and this has the most god awful art on the interior. Yeah, the interior. It wasn't, it wasn't well, jacked the, the, the interior. The exterior is not great either. Yeah. I think that's, oh, it not is a, horrible. that's not a great Hulk. But it is horrible. <laughs> there's just too much going on here. Anyway. So, 7.5 is what I thought it was. Bang! And it's a 7.5. Perfect. Very nice. Can't go wrong there. Yep. Yep. We're back on track. Yep. Much to my chagrin. No crazy grins. Ah, another Batman. What DC book or a detective. What's doing in here? He had, a, he had a nice little respectable pile of detectives going on. First appearance of Man Bat. I like... There's other covers I like better than this one, as you all know. 402 being one of them. I just like the ludicrousness of this. There's, if you look at it close enough, you realize it's a gigantic Godzilla. Well, bigger yeah. than Godzilla. Yeah. I mean, there's what Empire State right there. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah. Gotham. It looks yeah. kind of like Empire State Building. Yeah. They have to be about three thousand feet tall, and they're like looming awesome. over the city. But it's just a great effect, and the first yeah. Man Bat. Actually, if I was in charge of DC, that would be the next Batman movie I would do. That would be. Very and I cool. would follow exactly the animated series to yeah. Carter with yeah, Man Bat in it. That'd be phenomenal. And, and don't don't explain anything. No backstory. Don't talk about any other heroes. Have a nice backstory. Jump right story. into the plot. Jump right yeah. into the plot with Man Bat and let it run. Now you're talking. Now you're talking yeah. a good movie. Anyway. So I thought it was an 8-0, and it's a... Oh, oh, yes, it's a 9. Succulent. Oh. I think it's got juice dripping off it. So this was that was a cool book because I needed a few more books to fill out this order. And as an 8-0, that barely makes the cut for... The value in the standard tier because nice. eight zero is about four hundred dollars. So as a nine zero, I justified. I spent the money well. Nice. This is a good batch. Oh yeah, I should say standard's my favorite. I like standard tiers because you got some you know decent. When the grade is a little bit better than you thought, you really the value goes out, through yeah. the roof. Not to yeah. mention that, but a half also a point can be hundreds of dollars. Right, but also yeah. the scarcity. I mean, it's it's nice to find like that Fantastic Four twenty five. Yep. As a seven or eight, yep. but to find that if it was as it appeared to be, like a nine, nine or yeah. nine two, is, is rare, phenomenal. Yeah. So, yeah. those are great when those those grades pop in the standard tier. Not like a modern where you get nine sixes and nine eights all day long. Ah, uh, this was so popular. Yes, it was. It's a slight is. comeback. I've always yeah. loved this book. You know, I've probably had half a dozen on these shows, yes, but it's one of my favorite covers, and it's it just a nice, clean get that looking Civil copy. War set in the back there. Yeah, if you guys ever bought that Civil War set, it it's was cardboard, right? Hideously disappointing. Yes. They they advertised this as coming with like this kit, a storage footlocker, two, two complete armies. And what it was was this little plastic oh, box, War, the size of a matchbox. Oh yeah. And the figures were tiny, and they're all uh -huh. plastic. They weren't colored like they were in there. The World War One, World War Two guys, no, they were all just basically green, ugly plastic little. I mean, not even those cool army guys you would get. No, Back the green the army men were no, it wasn't even like that. A bag of green army men. They were good playing and good okay. eating. I call this a 4.0, and CGC is going to call it a... 5.0. 4.5. We'll split the difference. Close. Nice book. Yeah. Well, oh, great, 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 great. Cool. It's a nice stack of DC. And this is a John Stewart special. If you've ever had this book... There's a funny production issue with this. Take a look. Take a look at the two corners on the upper right mm -hmm. and lower right. It's almost like the front cover and the back cover were two different sizes. Yeah. So the front cover is like shrunk, and you can see the interior pages and it, the corners of the back cover. It almost it almost looks like a stepped like. Uh, yeah, it's almost picture. like yeah. it's this this yeah. style like it's cut in this mm -hmm. angle. So, 
And at first glance, it looks kind of like a little bit of a spine shift happened, but it's not. That's the way it was produced. It's very rare to find one that has a nice square cut. Mm -hmm. But most These of them square have bones that. are always so weird too when you hold them in your hand because the 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 case is so much thicker. Yeah, and the newer style case is not so much so. It's just mm -hmm. a millimeter or two thicker, mm -hmm. but it, it's it, it is it is a sixty-four page book. So sixty-four um, page special. This came. I had a collection. I bought a complete run of Green Lantern, and this was one of the books in that. This is run. really nice. So I thought it was a nine zero. I think it might be a nine two. I hope you're right. Please. Yes, you're right. Boom. Yes. I gotta stop using my juju for you. No, no, no. Just, I got just, shipments coming back. Just, just, I just, just, you know what it is? I don't have any books in the shipments. Yeah, so you right. got all the magic juju. That's, that's right, right, because that's usually exactly. you get the big gratuitous I grade bumps. You gotta, I, I gotta fix don't. this. Wow. Well, just use your juju one more time and tell me the lottery numbers for next week. If you can <laughs> yeah. guess those, no. I'm good. No, I used up all my juju this weekend. That's true, you did. I was shocked at some of the. I mean, even back to back. So, a quick little side story here. Uh, Patrick and I bought some books from the same vendor, and you walked up and said, I'm going to try to get a deal. I'm going to see if I can get X dollars off. You did. You got like 22% or something crazy. Hmm. I walk up with a similar stack of books. I get like 10%. I got 9%. I'm like, wait, what? what? I don't get it. I don't either. I don't know why. So this is, I think, the, the only restored we've seen. In a long time. Yes. That's the last time we saw a restored book. Yeah, it was. It was. A but you knew this ago. was gonna be. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't know this when I bought this book, and I bought it from a reputable dealer. Um, I have no regrets because he gave me a great price. And when you about, look at this, this looks like an eight zero or higher. Yeah. It was. It was about a year ago, and when I got closer look at it, when I was sending it in, I, I had it for about a year, and when I sent it to CGC, I took a close look, and I'm like, oh, it's trimmed, and you can tell because these corners here <laughs> are very sharp. Look at that edge. <laughs> But I still decided to send it in because yeah, it had appreciated it enough and I paid a great yeah. low price for it. So I thought it was a 7 oh, I wasn't sure how they would treat the trimmed yeah. edges, but to me it looked like it was a 7 oh. Yeah. Oh my god, an 8 4 I makes up for it. It's more than makes yeah. up for it. Wow. wow. That's awesome. That's great. It's, be it's a beautiful book. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately when you go to these shows sometimes, you don't have all the time in the world to sit there and examine books yeah, and, closely. You know, it's just a shame that they trimmed it like that because... It didn't need it. It probably would have been yeah. an 8 oh. Yeah. You know, because really, what did they get rid of? Yeah, exactly. There's not much missing. There's not much meat missing. And you can tell by how much uh, yeah. there is from the, the stamp over to the edge. Yeah, visually, what you can see, though, is how the corners, especially the yeah. back, the corners are... Yeah, it just looks it looks silly. Uh, uncharacteristically can, sharp. Yeah. The edges, of course, are straight. But well, the other thing, too, is where you can see uh, a stain that just disappears. Yeah. So it's in the middle of an arc, and then it goes away. <laughs> if one's good... Four is better. Four is better. We learned that with those store books. So this came out of a local collection I got several months ago. I'll show we, you up close. This has a funny as hell. We, we alluded. Stamp. We alluded to it. So this came out of a local house. Look at that, this chest. Ma fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't see. It's it. like it's, it's like May, a license but... plate stamped on his on his yeah. pecs. Yeah. So this is one of the several books in this collect or in this shipment that came out of a local collection. Yep. Um, a guy was cleaning a house out and he found these books in a closet. This was the CCC collection, uh, the Comic Closet Collection, and very nice books. I managed to buy the books from the local business that cleaned out the house, and I'll also you notice the RK initials. That was the guy that originally owned these books. So. Uh, I called it a 6.5 CGC. I think it's technical good. difficulty. CGC is calling it. Wow, an 8.0. Oh my God. Oof. Blistering grades. Wow, an 8.5. Even so that that's restored 8.5 is hot. Don't, none of my books in your ship. There we go. Patrick is banned. <laughs> oh, no. Patrick is banned from no. ever having books in my shipments again. <laughs> no shipments for you. Yes. Right, I'm, my books are finally feeling the love they deserve. <laughs> okay, and then last of the trio here, another Silver Surfer number one. Uh, this one I thought was the lowest of all three. Yeah, I'd agree. The um, corners are a little I'm, I'm thinking 6 -oh, There's a little small tear at the bottom yeah. of the spine right there, a little impact damage. Yep. So I'm thinking 6 6 Yeah, 6 -oh was what you I was... A little bit of bugginess in this corner and then a little bit of spine wear. So yeah. I, 6 -oh, I could see. I'll take anything right now. Seven five. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. Shocking. Stunning. That's awesome. 
Stunning. Thank you, CGC. Yeah. Never gonna complain. I won't call. The nice thing is, you have them in every grade now. Yeah. I won't call out the names of the people that we know that work at CGC. So. No. Thank <laughs> that you. Watch this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, though. Shh. The money's on the way. Well, you know, you never know. I, I like I say, we always do harsher grade things. Yeah. The only thing that I think we don't harsh a grade as they do is water staining. Yeah. You get water staining. It's like it's yeah. got the your book has the plague. They don't even want to look at it. <laughs> Take a look at the back of those Silver Surfer ones. I put the wrong tag on. I think I have a, a number four on there. Is that the number four? Number, it's number one. one. Number That's four. That's number four. Give me that one. I was missing one. And here is the number one. That eight zero I called a seven zero. So just for those keeping score at home. So another book that came from the, the Comic Closet Collection is number three. The Out of the Closet Collection. Yeah, Out of the Closet Collection. So this came from that same collection. And again, it's a beautiful copy of the book. And um, first appearance of Mephisto. You ever hear people say Mephisto? Yeah, I was gonna, it, that's it, why it, I said it, Mephisto. It, it really irritates me. Yeah, Mephisto. Um, this one looked really sharp. Uh, I'm thinking 8.0. It's really clean. It's, it's tough to grade these square bounds because you start to look at it yeah. and you see like little things that you, you place tricks on your eyes. You well, think, yeah, like you see like a little bit of rounding here. Yeah, but it's, it should be like, it wrapped, like that. Should it have yeah. that? Little, you know, the corners yep. don't look nice and square like the modern square bounds are very square. These ones have a little bit of curve to them. So I called it an 8. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Blistering. <laughs> Blazer of a book. Yeah. Hold that cover up there. Look at that. Look at that. Shockingly red. It's a blazer. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great looking book. Wow. Stunning. It's a stunner. Wow. That's that was a that's a win for me. I'll take I'll take that in the uh, ASM three hundred. Three. Okay. As we as we roll down. Silver Surfer four. Yep. That's what I'm looking for. As we roll along here and we go through the issues, we're now up to number four. What a nice deck of Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer number four. Now, the Comic Closet Collection had a number four in it, but I didn't put it in this order because I think it's so high of a grade, it's going to go into the Express tier. Um, it's definitely uh, a 9 or 9-2, so I did want to put it here. It goes in even in a, in a higher tier. This one, um, I got this some time ago. A little bit of weird, I don't know what's yeah, a schmutz down there. Is. It looks yeah. like a stamp almost or some yeah. kind of like little dark smudge. Yeah, and then in the lower staple, you got a little bit of pressure uh, coming through. Yeah, a little, little, little pre- pokeage little there. Pressure. It's a little prairie dog in there in the cover. Some pressure. Yeah, pressure. So I think it's 6-5. <laughs> I think it's a 6-0. 6-0. Bang. Ah, insert appropriate sound effect here. <laughs> uh, that's the first. <laughs> Be the first. Oh. That's our first. That's the first one. I usually get two in every order. I get two books that well, here's come your in. Second chance. Come in. This is a redemption book. Well, maybe this was the wrong label. No, they're both six five. So I have two copies of this book. Um, both to me look to be about the same. Uh, this one I thought was a six five. This one looks a little bit nicer though. Now on second thought, oh, I know why because of that yeah, bottom yeah. corner of the spine. Yep. So bottom corner little... has a little bit of uh, color break diagonal. Probably what do you think? Yeah. About a third of an inch, maybe. Their bottom corner has like a sixteenth of an inch of a color break. But other than that, they're, they're, this one's a little brighter. Page quality on that one was off white to white, so this one looks like it might get a white page. Survey says, bang, hey, seven five. Okay, yeah. that makes up for the six. Oh, they average point. out. Yeah, I thought this book was nicer. Okay, uh, another book from... This is an odd one. This another is one you book, don't see that much. I yeah, did see it a lot at the show, though. I saw about five copies so of this. I, somebody, um, I forget who on, uh, on the, in the community, just purchased this book. It was one of the books they were looking for for a long time. And I saw the video and I thought, oh, I just got this book in. So this book came in as part of the Comic Closet Collection. And I don't normally look for these, yeah, but I got a shed glue. on the back of there. <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> I love that they put Spock on the cover. And I never realized how, how valuable this book was. Yeah. I've probably seen it over the years. And it's never one of the ones you, you just go by in the box. Yeah, yeah. so I called it a 7-0. I think it's higher. Oh, I like hey. what you think. Yep. 7-5. Gold Key. Gold Key probably were second worst. The only ones probably worse are Charlton. As far yeah. as construction goes. 
E Man. <laughs> Let's oh, just yeah. say that E Man. They're just, they're just they're, they didn't care. They just printed on complete garbage stock. Yeah. So anyone that collects Charlton, like Charlton sixty six, I give them credit because mm -hmm. that's that's got to be so hard <laughs> to find anything that has even the slightest bit of gloss on the cover. Okay, coming in the final stretch. What is going on here? Just about a little of everything. Yeah, there's a lot of weirdness going on here. <laughs> I mean, the animals, but with the people faces on that one especially, is really creepy. That's like a furry uh, convention gone wrong right there. Yeah, yeah. Every, every creature's got some kind of strange yeah. animal head and appendages hanging out there. Oh, yeah. So. Yikes. Uh, very, very tough to get this book in any piece. Any oh, what decent. a bitch in racetrack. Look at that. That's got a double <laughs> crisscross on it. That must have been awesome to play with. And it's loaded. It is loaded. It's more fun, more features. They got a Mustang. It's great. Actual cars that move. Yeah. Double figure eight. Not once, but twice. Yeah. Sweetness. All right. You call this a 9-0? I call it a 9 which is exceptionally hard to find this particular this book. This is really In 9 nice. condition. I think you might do a 9-2 on this. 9-2 yeah. would be amazing. Oh, my God, a 9-2. <laughs> wait, wait. Is that white? White pages, I can see through and the case. White pages. Wow, nine two white pages. Wow. This is this is one of the best shipments in a while. Yeah. Holy cow, nine two. Highly nine marketable twos. books. And <laughs> the lone X Men book. Uh actually no, I got a few X Men books in here. Oh you do? Oh, yep, okay. Yep, yep, yep. First appearance of the juggernaut. So two That's copies cool of this cover. book. This one I think is a five. I called yeah, I called this one a five yeah. I think it's better than that. Let's hope you're right. Bang. Five five. Okay, I'll take that. It's marginally better. And the twin copy here, uh, twin for the win. This one is a little bit nicer looking. It's got a little bit of a little chipping in the lower right corner there, some strangeness going on, but uh, I, I think it's, it's not as bright. I think I called it like a six. Yeah, I called this Upper one a six. Upper right corner so. isn't quite as nice. Yeah. So I'm calling this a six, and it's a seven. Oh, my God. Yeah. Crazy. It's got a better spine. That's why. <sighs> its spine is flawless. Yeah. I guess when you have two books side by side, you can yeah. compare and look at those. You can see the But difference. they don't. I mean, not even the same team. Grading team might not have graded that book for all we know. You know? Um, it should be the same same team. You would think. Maybe not. The nice thing you have two books like that you can compare side by side. You can mm -hmm. definitely relatively grade. And it's save. really good for you too to get a sense of CGC grade when you look you look at so many books. Uh, yeah. You would think we nail it more often, but I yeah. can't get the grading out of my head. They should be consistent. Yep. And what's an order without having a X Men One Hundred and One? I saw a ton of these uh, over the weekend, and I think a lot of guys are dumping this book now. Yeah, it still it still gets a good value for it. It's yeah. it's a classic story. It's not going to plummet, but. I figured it was time to get this copy graded. Yeah. I thought it was a 9-0. Um, there's just a little bit of wear in the spine, a couple of non-color breaking stress marks. Um, probably the way this order's been going, it's probably a 10 for all I know. I think it's I think it's a 9-4. 9-4, I hope so. Oh, you called that one too! Bang! <laughs> oh my god! Whew! Yeah, I only, wow. I only wow. saw three errors in it, so... So, I had one book then that was under my expected grade. Yes. And, uh, what, 38 books way over what I thought yeah. they were supposed to be? Wow. wow. Great, okay. Great, great. That's well, a great order. That's it. Yeah. Hooray. Huzzah. So, I think, what are the next, the next are value in modern? No. Or just value? We, all economy. All economy. That's we right. have three economy orders coming yeah. back. Um, the turnaround times have gone through the roof. So, I'm thinking they'll probably be back in about two weeks, I think. Uh, it jumped from 30 days to 55 days yeah. over the last And, and now, at this point, submitting now, you'll be lucky to see the books before Halloween. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. it'll eventually come back down, yeah. so you'll get that. Yeah. But. All right, we'll just keep buying. Yeah, we'll just keep uh, buying. Keep Mike and I are doing a con on Sunday. Uh, yeah. It dates the video, but Sunday the 23rd. Yeah. Uh, it's the Buffalo Con at the lovely Marriott. Do mm -hmm. not go to the Mexican restaurant next to there. You'll get severe sodium poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Hardening of the arteries. Yeah, yeah, I had kidney failure by the time I got back to my car that night. Uh, but we'll be setting up there. So if you're going to be in the area, stop by and say, hey, uh, you might get a shot at some of these books. Yeah, we're looking at you, Cougar Comics. Yeah, so yeah Cougar. That's your, we're in your stomping there. grounds. you got to stop on by. And the rest of you that stopped out at Victory Con, stop out again. And we'll yeah. say hey. And uh, I guess until next time. 
Love your books, read them, or slap them if you're going to sell them. See y'all later. Bye. Not half bad. Is that good? I taste. I hmm. taste a hint of dill. I think you're right.